you guys. My next concern is my um, heater core, okay? Reasons why I knew that is because of, earlier on I felt dampness back here, right? But there's actually dampness up here as well. So when I stuck my hand inside towards the back, by removing the carpet a little bit, I feel wetness all the way around. So, so that's the next concern I have, all right? So what I wanna do is I'm gonna take stuff apart to get to the um, heater core, right? One of the first thing is this, these two from these both sides. Um, as you know, it's just a small little screw to take it out and this whole thing comes right out, okay? Um, the thing for me, and, and you guys tell me about yours, but, but I, I noticed this thing is crap. Okay, it took forever and, and some wiggling to, to get that out. Likewise, for here, the whole entire thing came out. I mean, I'll, I'll fix it, but, but it's just a pain in the butt, all right? So the next thing I need to do is I need to take out the battery, all right? So I need to unplug this so we can take a closer look at see what's going on there, all right? Okay, so the next thing I need to worry about is to take out the blades, okay? And as soon as I take out the blades, I have to start taking out this cowl as well. Because what's going on is, is the heater core right over here, I believe, okay, is all the way inside. I mean, it's not inside the car, but still, it's right here. So that, that, that's what makes it the harder part, okay? So um, let me get this out first. If you've ever taken out a uh, wiper before, this is the kind of thing that you need to use, okay? So you just hold on to both sides, you squeeze this down, and it'll pop right out, okay? Okay, so um, I forgot. I have to take out the screws first before I pop it out. Um, these are size 13, okay? So as soon as I do that, I also pop these out on each end, and I'll, I'll let you know what screw size it is later on, okay? But for now, let's worry about the two wipers first. All right. Okay, so we've gotten the, the um, wipers out, and I have to admit, this is not the easiest thing to get out because there's not just enough room, so you have to do it on an angle. Right, you have to move this a little bit and then do it at an angle to pop it out. I have to admit the BMWs are by far much easier to do, all right? So the next piece of the cowl is, is um, two things. One thing is is uh, you've got these two uh, bolts on the side. These are size nines, okay? One on each side. And then the only other thing that I've noticed that is holding it together is actually two security bolts down here, one here and one there. And this is a size T... T15, okay? So once I get those two things out, the other thing to concern is that once I do, I just move it to the side. Um, there, you know, the um, the uh, water jet for, for the, uh, you know, the squirts, um, they're tied in with power and, and the wire, the pole itself, all right? So you, we gotta be careful to not burst those or else that'll be a pain in the butt. But once we do, what that means is now we've got all this out of the way enough to uh, to work on. Okay, so let's let's see if I, I can get this done. Okay, so I've got the cowl out. Um, what I forgot to mention is there's actually another screw right over here, right right on top where it should be right over here. Okay, so once you take out that security hole, um, kind of have to twist this a little bit, bend it a little bit, and then it'll come right out. The goal for me was was not to unplug anything, so that's the reasons why it is the way it is right now. So here. This is where the uh, this is where our core is, right? So here here's yet more problem is that we've got the wipers in the way as well as the strip bar right here. So what we need to do is we need to be able to move these out of the way enough for us to, to work on, okay? Let me see. Let me see if there's an easier way of doing this. Um, well, actually, Yeah, we, we uh, let me see if I, I can take this out to take a look. We may be able to get away with it. I I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's 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 take a look. Okay, but at least let's take a look at this to see how far down it is, and then we can go from there. All right. So just without even taking out anything, I just pull this out, and voila, I'm looking at the heater core. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to unhook this, but first is I need to unhook these two clamps these two hoses to get it out of the way, all right? And then in theory for this, it's just being held on by a few of these. I should be able to pull this straight up. Um, let me take a look and then we can go from there, all right? Uh, I see two screws. 
even better. All right, so let me take these two out first. I'm hoping that water isn't gonna go everywhere. Um, we'll see, we'll see, but I'll, I'll take these two out and then I'll, I'll take out these two, okay? Okay, so I've gotten out the two bolts. By the way, the bolts were sized, um, I could be mistaken, but it's size six, okay? So I've gotten them out and, and, and check this out. So I've gotten most of the out. The problem is I'm hitting this. So I need to take out this bolt, this linkage, that bolt, and, and possibly whatever is holding this in. Okay, not ideal, but but I have to do what I have to do in order to, to get access to this. But at least you guys can see that that this is already coming out. So when the new one comes in, I just replace it and, uh, you know, Bob's your uncle. Okay, all you have to do afterwards is just go backwards. Put this back in, put the cover back in, put this, put this cowl underneath, put the two uh, wipers back on, right? Battery in, cover, 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 and voila. Yeah, I, I make it simple, but it's really not that simple. It's a lot better than a, than a few of the cards. Don't get me wrong, but it's not it's not pretty, right? So, so honestly, I've yet to see any pictures, any blogs, any forum, any YouTube video showing this. So, so you guys are lucky, and 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 don't have to go through the same pain I'm going through. All right, have fun, guys. Okay, guys, here it is. Here's my heater core. And yes, it was leaking. Okay. So, here's where it came from. I had to go a little bit extreme. I had to take this whole thing apart. All right. First, I had to take off this uh, brace. All right. So, there's a, a 10 bolt, a 10 bolt, and a, um, what was that? That was a, oh, here it is. Size what? Two, 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 two. Size fifteen. So there were two fifteen bolts to hold in place. Okay, so that that this is tied to the wire, so it's stuck there. The other one I took out. To make it worse, I had to take out the um, as I told you before, I had to take out the uh, wiper motor right setup. Not only here, which is a size ten, but also here which is another size 10 so I was able to move this out for this bracket which was leaning against the wall this is what was blocking it as you can see there are two more size 10s on each side okay so what I'll do is I'll leave it exactly that way that way I know exactly where to put it back but I've got a whole bunch of screws I have some I, I am waiting for my heater core to come in I also have a guy who has a heater core for me too, in case in case that takes too long. But I'll put it back together. I'll fill it up with coolant again this time. Um, so you guys should have given me the heads up that you know. Well, some of you may, some may not, but but I've been using Prestones for my coolant. Come to realize that's not the ideal one to take, right? Because because for these Porsches, it's very they want a very specific coolant. Okay, so there is a coolant that they make is roughly about 50 bucks. The good news is, is there is also a, a brand called Xerex, Z-E-R-E-X, which is the same equivalent as a Porsche. The difference is, is it's either 17 bucks or 19 bucks, so it's half the price. Okay, so... When I put everything back together, that's what I'll be using because because that's the recommended, and so we'll 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 do it right. So the hope is that when I do that, I should not be leaking anymore, guys. It just comes down to if I bleed the uh, system. As long as I bleed the system, I should be in good shape. There shouldn't be any coolant on the floor. There shouldn't be any coolant in my passenger side, and everything is great. Okay, but but as you can see, it requires a lot more taking apart just to get to it. Good news is is now we know. Bad news is is there's a lot of screws, so so I gotta make sure all the screws that I have, which which are right over here, that they all go back in place. If all said and done, and I've got extra screws, it's obvious I'm missing screws somewhere. So so take my time, put it back. 
life should be good. All right? Guys, this has been a huge struggle for me. I don't know about you guys, but 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 dealing with coolant or at least, you know, coolant leak is, is a nightmare for me. I had to do it for the Z4. I had to do it for the Z3. And for the most part, I mean, it's either, you know, water pump thermostat and is always good. For this one, even though, honestly, my thermostat was probably fine. My water pump was probably fine as well. It was all this, but 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 I, I, I couldn't I couldn't figure out where and not knowing enough about Porsche. I did what I did, right? So, so I went for the obvious. I, I, I went for the reservoir. I went for the cap of the reservoir. I went for the, um, the you know, the bleeder. Then I started going for the water pump and thermostat because those are the obvious things right off the bat, other than the, you know, the, the hoses and stuff like that. I didn't see any leak from the hoses because cause if I did, when I filled it in, it would automatically start, you know, leaking already. So, so it wasn't the hoses. I, I knew about the, the, you know, heater core, but, but the fear I have was, was not that it's here, but that it was inside the dash and I had to tear apart everything. So, so I was trying to figure out if it's heater core or radiator. All right. So, so with all the wetness, this has got to be my problem, right? Let, let's see. Let's see. In a day or two, I'll have my heater core. I'll put everything back in. I'll run a test drive and then I'll give you guys the status of all of my activity. The hope is that this is all of my activity. The rest is just odds and ends, right? Then I can focus my my, my time on, on, on my other bad boy, okay? For the most part, he's awesome, or she's awesome. However, I still have that, that clutch problem, so I still need to narrow that out. But I have to get it done because I refuse to not be able to get it done. If you guys see any problems with the stuff I'm doing, comment, add, let me know because 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 I'm still learning, right? I, I, no matter five years from now, ten years from now, I'll always be learning one piece or the other because because this is not something I do, but it's something I'm having a lot of fun doing. Along the way, it's pretty frustrating, and 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 for folks like me who 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 struggle with this, don't give up because once you have it going, once it works. It's just going to be much sweeter of a ride. Do you know what I mean? With that, this is my second time of saying goodbye. Um, for at least for this episode. All right. And then we'll go from there. The hope is that if I get this done, I get my Z4 done. Maybe I'll break down and get my 996 much earlier. We'll see. Bye, guys.